You ain't gonna talk to me today, but John chapter eight today, where there is a woman being drugged through the street. She's been caught in the act of adultery. And she will be seemingly dead. I committed this crime. You can go through so many attacks. You can go through so many clapbacks. You can go through so much other fights until you let people drag you and you have nothing else to do, nothing else to say. Have no more strength to give to them today. Putting up a fight, only gonna make it work. I've been being drugged for so long. I ain't got, I ain't got energy to care no more. I'm saying something, only gonna give them more evidence. I don't even put up a fight no more. I'm talking to somebody who's tired mentally, physically, spiritually, emotionally, psychologically drained. You ain't got no more else to give. You ain't you ain't got no smiles to fade. You ain't you ain't got no more energy to be around people. You you ain't mad. It's just that you you should have caught me when I first put up a fight. But see, you you wanted to wait and drag me all the way through all this stuff. If, if people had identified that you cared from the beginning, that 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 they would understand your nonchalantness now is not being nonchalant. You just don't care. It, it ain't that you hate them. And it, it it ain't that you don't love them. It's that you just don't care. You 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 done with it. You done exhausted all your energy. You done put the most to it that you can. You you ain't extinguishing no more effort. You ain't expunging no. More more energy. I mean, you done got the best of me, the most of me. You done got my best years, my best time. You done got something I cannot replace. I'm not pouring more into this dead, empty place. I'm not putting up no fight. Putting up no more fight. I'm tired of being drugged in my emotions, drugged in my feelings, being, being drugged in my portrayal of truth, trying to move you. I'm talking about you. You done been through the mud already. You done been through the attack already. You done, you done been through hell and high water. You done seen trial and stress. You done been manipulated. You done been through the direct. Been through all this hell and only to come to church and find out people in the world are the very ones who would contradict you, crucify you. Jesus starts riding in the dirt. They try and tell him, Cancel search that. Shut church down. This is this is ridiculous. Because we found somebody who's on the deacon board. We, we found somebody who's a mother. We we found somebody who is positively posting on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Yahoo. I'm, I'm talking about they found you. They found you. And threw you in front of them. And told God about you. Jesus started writing in the dirt. He didn't say anything, he just started writing. I, I came to tell somebody in the room on today, Jesus shows up in your picture and rewrites your friend. I'm talking to somebody who can identify that your history was, but because your God is omnipresent, he can go back to your past and rewrite things over so that when they come up to the conviction is that there is no indictment, there, there is no history, there is there is no conviction on your record. You, you, I came to tell somebody on today, somebody's criminal record is being expunged. Somebody has been trumped up charges on something you know you didn't do, but because of the people you were associated through, you would be falsely accused. God told me he is clearing up the cases. He is going to make sure you come out all right in this fight. Do, do not give any sway way to the enemy today. Let him know by defining reason that God is rewriting, rewriting your history. He's, re, he's rewriting your record. He, he's rewriting the incident. He is rewriting. Jesus is found writing in the dirt. You who are without sin, throw the first one. He said, if you, you ain't never done nothing wrong, throw it. You, you ain't never smoked a little weed, throw it. You ain't never had sex without a condom, throw it. You ain't, you ain't never cheated on your husband, throw it. I'm, I'm, I'm talking to somebody who's big and bad enough to throw it even though they got some stuff. Can, can you throw it in the face of God knowing that if you throw it out there, he'll throw a bigger one back at you. I'm daring some. If you bad enough, if you big enough, him without sin, throw the first one. Identify with God writes in the dirt. That's, that's where he does his best work. He said, where are your accusers? So she looked around and saw there was no one there. 
and she said, I don't, I don't see you. And Jesus looks up at her and says, you, you right. I don't, I don't see it either. I'm, I'm talking to somebody today who can identify with whatever you say uh, that, the, that the spirit of God is getting in alignment with on today. That, that, that if you don't see dead in your past, you right, you absolute. If you don't see exes in your past who are manipulating, who would cause you emotional stress, God said, you, you right, I don't see it either. I, I don't see no type of conviction. I don't see no type of eviction. I don't see no type of contradiction. I see no divorce. I see no mental, no physical. Oh my goodness, of your record, of your history. Of your memory. Uh, he said, I don't, I don't see it either. When people come at you in this season talking about all that stuff that they knew you to be, you look at them folks and say, no, who you talking about? I don't know. I don't know what person you knew that you may be trying to find through identity, but I gotta tell you on today, God rewrote my story. I, I don't know. I just can't see it. I can't, I can't see what you're talking about.